Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms Faction Trials video. It is 0715, Saturday, January the 20th. I'm going to apologize ahead of time for how I sound. Picked up some sort of bug, but I promised someone I would do this video, so I am going to do it. Let's go to Faction Trials. Let's set the stage. Last Saturday, I released a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to clear Nightmare Stages 10, 11, and 12. Um, I'll link to that in the pinned comments below if you're interested. But someone commented and said, hey, I don't have arrogance. A lot of people don't have arrogance. Is it possible to even clear this and beat that guy in the middle of the stage if you don't have arrogance? And the answer is yes, but with an asterisk. So to clear it and unlock power of dominance, we look to the top right. We clear it with soul core intact and with deploying eight fighters. Good news. If you're clearing this for the first time, you do not have to meet both of those requirements in the same run. You can do it in two different runs. You can do it once, deploying eight fighters, and one or two sneak by, and the soul core is not intact. And you can do it a second time, not deploying eight fighters, but you kill everything, and the soul core is intact. So if you need to do it in two runs, go for it. That's how I did it the first time. This is the team we're going to use. Um, so you don't need arrogance, but the asterisk is that you need a chaotic legendary champion. I have Luguru, but also um, Giselle and Admiral Claw should work. I don't have them to test, but same type of damage uh, with the extended range to take care of him. So um, here's the team uh, with eight fighters. Uh, so we're going to try and do them both in one run just to save people's time. But if you have Hatsit and you're trying to clear it once with the soul, use Hatsit. Um, I'm going to use Greed and Baron as my two non-fighters. If you're struggling to do it all in one run, do it in two runs. Use Hatsit. Her drop defense makes a huge, huge difference. We're going to start by placing Gluttony on the board. Gluttony is here because he is a quasi-tank. Um, he's a fighter, but I'm going to use him to tank this guy, and when he ults, he's just going to eat him, so I don't have to worry about him. Next up is Valeria. Valeria, when she gets her ult, I'm going to wait to use it until this second monster coming from the left, until he's a little bit closer. The reason I wait is because her explosion at the end of her ult, I want it to kill the two knights coming from the left. So I hold on just a little bit to time that so that it can explode. If Gluttony is going to die, pull him before he does so that you get that cost back. Oh, I should have placed Lugaru a long time ago. I was too busy talking. That's okay. He will still have plenty of time. Let's pull them. We don't need them. Let's get Baron. Next up, we are going to place um, Greed. Greed is here for magic damage, CC. I didn't clear this with Greed the first time. I used Novris. Novris can be done. But Greed is so much better. And since he's a free login champ for everyone now, if you've got him, use him. Now, if I would have been paying attention and placed Luguru when I was supposed to, I would have had enough energy. I would have been able to pull him earlier. I would have been able to place Volka earlier. Volka's there for two reasons. One, um, she can put out some surprising DPS when you put her in DPS gear. And two, um, she when she's on the board right, everyone heals themselves when they attack. So she helps keep Baron alive. You might need to place someone else in that tile. So Baron has his unyielding effect going on right now. If that hits, you wait to use his ult until the unyielding is gone. There will be a visual indication I'll show you. Because right now he can't die. So I would want to wait to use his shield until he can die. Right there. That was the visual effect. Right now you would use it. But since the monsters are dead, we don't need to. So instead, we will just pull him because that unyielding effect can be used once per deployment, not once per match. Valeria could have been placed way earlier, but it doesn't matter. We place her. Let's get Gluttony on the board. Let's get Lugaru on the board. Let's use Valeria's ult. I'm missing. Normally, you would have placed all of these units as you get the cost for them. Um, I'm missing stuff because I'm talking, but I've got a lot better DPS gear than I used to have, so it still shouldn't be an issue. There we go. Valeria's done. We pull her. Let's get, 
Abomination down so he can get some stuns going. Oh, man. So whether you place Abomination there or... Uh, because Greed, Gluttony, excuse me, because Gluttony's not a true tank, he's going to get eaten alive here, he's going to die. And so when he dies, you'll need to replace him with someone. And who that someone is, is probably going to be Abomination. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but I'm going to place Wrath instead. And he should be able to get his ult, get his ult heal himself. Maybe not. Oh. Yeah. Come on. That's fine. Everyone died. That's fine. The big one here is that I need Baron. Valeria is going to be used for the bottom left, but I'm going to wait. Well, no, I want to place her. I want to wait to use her ult. I'm sorry. Ugh, I mistimed that. You want to you want to place her so that she can build her ult, and then use the ult. Since I mistimed that, I might not get that explosion off. I'll place Luguru down, and I'll place Salazar down. Salazar, yeah, man, that's frustrating. Got to pay attention. Place her earlier. Use her ult uh, before they come out so that she can explode and hit both of them. I might be able to pull this off if I'm really lucky. We'll see. Salazar's ult can reach that middle lane from the side here. So we will see if I got lucky or not. There we go. I did. Okay, so um, that was... <laughs> I am so sorry. That wouldn't have been nearly as sketchy. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. I said I would do the video. I'm doing it. That wouldn't have been nearly as sketchy if um, I would have timed Valeria better um, instead of paying attention to talking. So place her earlier. Start her ult before the monsters come out, before you even see the arrow, so that she can hit a couple times really quickly, ult, explode, and then attack some more. Um, and it'll be way easier. But that is the run. Thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, if you got something out of it, if you liked it, if you want to support the channel, please do. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, I will see you in the next one.